Wow. Whoa. All right, so I just got set up here to do a little ice camp fishing. Uh, I made the drive up here to the uh, horseshoe chain near St. Cloud, Minnesota. Uh, for those of you that have watched any of my videos, you've probably seen several in the past where we're catching catfish through the ice. They put catfish in this lake uh, quite a while ago, 20, 30 years ago, and the, uh, the catfish have just flourished in this body of water. Uh, so much so, in fact, that they actually, a couple of years ago, they raised the bag limit to try to control the population a little bit. They moved it from uh, 5 to 10, so uh, they're just trying to, like I said, control it a little bit. There's several lakes throughout this chain, and every single lake is just full of catfish. So um, I actually came out to a new spot tonight uh, just to try something a little different. And uh, I got set up here. I'm in about 25 feet of water. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not marking any fish right now, so that's probably not a good sign. I'm kind of right on a break. I'm at the edge of a hole. Um, so I'm hoping here as it gets darker that they're going to kind of move up into the shallow here a little bit. So um, I have a, a jig and a minnow down. And I have, let me show you here. I'm going to try, what I'm trying here is something a little different just for the heck of it. Uh, actually, there's a, I was just going to pull this up, but there's a fish on the bottom, so I think I'll keep it down there. But um, I got a minnow, like I said, I got a minnow on one, and I don't know if any of you have been following this uh, phenomenon on on uh, using hot dogs under tip-ups. People are using hot dogs and catching these pike under tip-ups. So what I did is I, uh, I cut up some hot dogs, <laughs> and I soaked it in some Team Catfish dead red blood spray and it's been soaking overnight So I, I just want to try something a little different. Uh, it would be pretty convenient if a guy could actually come out here and use hot dogs, but um, I'm a little skeptical, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, we do use chicken livers out here, though, and they work really well, so I don't know why hot dogs wouldn't work, but uh, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, there's a fish on the bottom here, so I'm a little distracted, but um, looks like he's maybe moving away but I'm hoping a big school comes in here that's uh, that should be a good sign if we're just getting one or two coming through here uh, might be a bad night or pretty slow um, like I said maybe once the Sun goes down here uh, we'll get some fish moving in well the Sun went down and I'm starting to see a few more fish pop up on the sonar here uh, I'm not sure if they're cats uh, but they seem to be coming in off the bottom kind of uh, paying attention to my I put a live minnow down just to have a little natural jigging action <clears throat> I see there's one down there just it's been studying it for a while and it's kind of acting like a cat but minnow's getting a little nervous <laughs> he's coming up ever so slowly oh, looks like you might hit it this time here he comes Oh, there he is. Oh, that doesn't feel like a cat. It could be a walleye, maybe. Oh, jeez. Well, that's a pretty nice, pretty nice crappie. <laughs> that's a real nice crappie. That's probably a 12-incher. Wasn't exactly what I was expecting. That is a nice crappie, though. Oh, he's hooked good. I got that one on the, uh, I just have a little glow jig. A little glow jig and a live minnow. Yeah. It's a nice crappie. Okay, got a little measuring stick. We'll see how much that one measures. Yeah, that's uh, just a little over 11. Almost 12. 
to let him go. Looks like there's a fish down there. I gotta get back down there. So here's these uh, hot dogs I was talking about. I just got them soaking in that uh, dead red spray, red dead spray, whatever it is. Just cut them into little chunks, hooking it onto the spoon. I'm using this uh, Northland glow shot, we found that glowing up your lure seems to help real well. Well, this Northland has this new spoon that you can put a glow stick right inside of it. It'll glow for a while. So yeah, hot dog and a spoon. And then a uh, foam bobber. Well, I've been sitting here for a while now. It's been pretty slow after I caught that crappie, but uh, it's probably been an hour and it's getting to be a little more activity down there. So there's probably two or three on the graph just kind of floating around down there. <clears throat> there's one looking at this hot dog rig and I'm kind of hoping that it actually will take it. Looks like he's getting close to it. Might be going for the other one actually. Oh, no, he's going to hit this one. Come on, buddy. There he is. That's a cat. <laughs> he ate the hot dog. <laughs> That's awesome. Doesn't feel super big, but it's pulling pretty good drag. There he is. Uh, not a bad one. He ate the hot dog rig. I'll be a son of a gun. That's awesome. Eat the hot dog. Well, there you go. I guess you can use hot dogs. Oh, I hate using these treble hooks for cats, though. Ah, they just get hooked and... Do not want to come off. There we go. Well, that was kind of a long wait, but maybe it'll pick up here now. They'll start moving in. That's a decent one. Probably a 20-incher. We'll let that one go. Well, I just had another one hit the hot dog rig. <laughs> This one feels a little better. Oh, he's cutting my other line. I tell you what, I haven't had the big schools of fish come through tonight, so I haven't been able really to test this this hot dog thing, but the ones that have come through, they've just come up and, and really hit it. This feels like a decent fish right here. This is a really good fish. Whoa, peel and drag. <laughs> Yeah, this is a nice fish here. Well, I'm a believer in the hot dog. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Tighten that drag a little bit. Wow. This could probably be the biggest cat I've caught this year. one. Wow! Should be getting close here. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh, he's in my line. If we can get this guy in the ice. more like it. That is a good fish. <laughs> That's a nice cat. That's a uh, 25 incher probably. Beautiful fish. 
Oh, that was fun. On the hot dog. <laughs> All right. Nice one. Boy, these cats are fun. Just threw that one on the quick measuring tape. It's 26 inches. Nice one. Gonna let it go. Man. Stuck in the hole. There she goes. I did bring some minnows for backup, but I caught that, you know, crappie right away on the minnow and and usually the catfish we do catch are either on minnows or chicken livers, but that minnow didn't get touched all night. They were they kept going for this this other one, so <clears throat> that tells you that they might prefer that that bait. Uh, I watched them on the underwater camera. They'll they'll come in and they'll almost like they taste the bait. They'll they'll brush up against it. Their tail will hit it, and they'll do circles around it, almost like they're tasting it with their body. So I figured, you know, maybe something that's just full of scent. Mar you know, this thing marinated in this this dead red might get them to commit. So who knows? I'd like to try it a few more times for sure, but I'm convinced that they will eat it, so kind of fun to try new stuff. Well, I'm going to pack it up here. Like I said, I got a long drive home, and uh, I think I can probably catch a few more fish tonight, but we'll call it a success and head home. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoy what you see, hit the subscribe button, and you'll probably see more of the same in the future. Take care.